Namaskar friends. Welcome back to lecture 14. Today I will be speaking about two properties inscribed on UNESCO's World Heritage List. Uh, remember when we were discussing Jaipur city, we spoke about Maharaja Savai Jai Singh's passion for architecture and astronomy and mentioned the Jantar Mantar also. Well, uh, this open air astronomical observation site, which was built in the early 18th century, was in 2010 inscribed on UNESCO's World Heritage List. The name Jantar Mantra, when split, literally means a jantra or a yantra, meaning an instrument or a machine, used to calculate the mantra, uh, meaning a calculation. Therefore, Jantar Mantra literally means a calculating instrument. Did you know that in addition to the one at Jaipur, there are four more Jantar Mantras built by Savai Jai Singh too? The one of course in New Delhi, many of you must be aware of because it's the capital city. Uh, Ujjain, Mathura and Varanasi are the others. With an illuminating history which predates modern civilization, this observatory was far ahead of its time and showcased ways of reading multiple celestial events and time changes which include predicting eclipses, tracking and locating major stars and constellations and other related astronomical and celestial navigations. Jantar Mantar in Jaipur has 19 large instruments with very specific purposes and the most popular and the prominent one being the Samrat Yantra, which is the largest sundial in the country. The main highlight of the instruments is to view the observation of celestial objects with naked eye. It is based on Ptolemaic positional astronomy that has shared similarities amongst many civilizations over the year. With this, I take you to the Red Fort Complex or the Lal Kila, which is the second for our homework today, where in 1947, the Tiranga was hoisted for the first time. And this tradition continues every year on the 15th of August at the main gate, the Lahore gate, and this makes it one of the most emotional and symbolic focal points of India. It was built as the palace fort of Shah, Shah Jahanabad, the new capital of the fifth Mughal emperor of India, Shah Jahan. Lal Kila, a fort with massive enclosing walls of red stones, is adjacent to an older fort, the Salim Gar which was built by Islam Shah Suri in 1546 and the two together form the Red Fort Complex, which was inscribed on UNESCO's World Heritage List in 2007. The private apartments, they consist of a row of pavilions connected by a continuous water channel known as the Neher A Bihisht, Bihisht meaning paradise, the stream of paradise. The planning of the palace is based on Islamic prototypes, with each pavilion revealing architectural elements reflecting a fusion of Hindu, Persian and Timurid traditions. Inside is a veritable treasure trove of buildings, including the intricately decorated Mumtaz Mahal where the chief consort N.R. Ontrej resided and the Diwane Khas or Hall of Public Audience where Peacock throne once stood. Lal Kila also nestles a market presently known as the Chata Chok Bazaar or the Meena Bazaar. This market was earlier known as Bazaar e Musakkat, the market with Sakaf, meaning roof, or the Chat Bazaar, a roofed market. But my favorite, dear friends, is the evening sound and light show, which recreates history as if we are experiencing it now. I just hope these series of lectures also make you feel the zest to be a part of the place which I tend to share you with about. Take care. Jai Hind. Namaste.